No. I will not get dropped. I'm not done yet. I really want to catch those guys. Wait, stop right there. Today's story doesn't start like this. Today's video is about giving up. About this guy that gave up the race. About him. About giving up. Wait, giving up? I'm not a giving up guy. So, let's start from the beginning and watch what happened. The race was about to start, and my race plan was simple, try to stay with the front group until the start of the epic KOM, and at the same time try to protect myself whenever possible by staying at the end of the front group. But I soon understand that it was a plan that would fail. My legs had no strength, I was unable to maintain power, and the group was leaving. And I couldn't keep up with them. Dismay struck me. I started to doubt myself and then, well, then you already know what happened. I was having a really, really bad race. I stopped, I gave up and everyone overtook me. And I wanted to leave. I wanted to go shower and rest. But rest? Rest from what? The race only had a few minutes and it was not enough for me to be tired. But I had no strength. My body was heavy and did not respond as I wanted. And then there was light in my mind. I've been through this so many times. How come I hadn't realized it before? By now you must be wondering why in the last two races I stayed behind in the first kilometers, precisely in the easiest part of the course without being able to maintain the power and pace necessary to keep up with other guys. But before further explanation, we must be aware of the following. There are three big themes to keep in mind for everyone who wants to be competitive in the cycling world, whether they are amateurs like me or professionals. First, adequate training. Second, adequate food and hydration. Third, adequate rest. Well, adequate is the key word here, as adequate is different for each cyclist and can be influenced by many external factors, such as the profession, stress levels and many other factors that influence our performance. And many of us tend to exaggerate in the first theme and not pay properly attention to the other two themes. In my case, although I have been strictly following my training plan, in the last few months I have been sloppy well, very sloppy, with food and mainly with rest. And due to this lack of rest, I've been feeling very tired and very sleepy almost every morning. As a consequence, my body takes a long time to turn on and when it does, the group is already gone. As for my poor diet, well, the images speak for themselves. I'm 72 kilograms and uh, I know that my ideal weight is 68 kilograms. I'm still quite heavy and uh, that has clear effects on my performance. Recognizing that I still have a lot of work to do on these chapters, I decided that instead of giving up on the race, I could use it to do a good workout. And seems that, after all, a bad race day can turn into a good training day.
do not get dropped. to catch those guys.
Damn. Really nice times. These guys are really, really strong. And I'm so heavy right now. So out of form. <laughs> <laughs>